Hello, my name is Bauer Zhang. This is my submission for lab two. Magnetic field of a bar magnet in the course physics 2212. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the magnitude of a magnetic field caused by a bar magnet, as well as determine the relationship between the magnitude of magnetic fields and the distance that separates objects from the magnetic field. Here's a brief preview of the results of the lab. The fundamental physics principles used in this lab are the Bure Savart law, which is ultimately set in equilibrium with the distance dependence formula to find the magnetic moment for the bar magnet. Here you see the Bure Savart law and then the distance dependent formula. The system surroundings initial conditions are as follows The system is a bar magnet, the surroundings are the earth, the phone, and other sources of magnetic fields, and the initial conditions is that the magnet is placed on the true east-west axis. Here is the experimental data for part one. We're going to draw the slope and the y-intercept of our line, which are n and ln of k, respectively, from the distance dependent formula. These values can be used to calculate the magnetic dipole moment. Here is the math behind calculating the magnetic dipole moment. The bure savart law is set in equilibrium with the distance dependent formula, with the only unknown being the magnetic dipole moment. Note that we are given the value of natural log of k, but we need k itself to do the magnetic dipole calculations. Here you can see the magnetic dipole moment. Before we get into coding, some things I observed in the experiment are as follows. When the magnetometer is far away from the magnet, it measured a near zero magnetic field in the x direction. As the magnetometer moved closer to the magnet, it measured the measured x component of the magnetic field increases. Knowing the magnetic dipole moment, we can move to the coding. We can plug our magnetic dipole moment in here. We can write a method that creates a magnetic field with two inputs, a magnetic dipole moment and a R vector. We can then call this method seven times, two in the same axis as R, four in perpendicular axes, and one in an axis that is 45 degrees. This is our result. Here we can see the theoretical magnitude of a magnetic field where the magnetometer is at an angle of 45 degrees. Comparing the theoretical and experimental magnitudes, there is quite a large difference. However, there are many reasons why this could be. Potential sources of this error include external electric fields, which would create magnetic fields, shifting of the magnet and the magnetometer, and rounding errors in math. What if questions? Question, in the experiment, you oriented your setup so as to compensate for magnetic north. What if you haven't done that and instead laid out your meter stick at some intermediate angle with respect to Earth's magnetic field? How would your results have changed? Both the X and Y components of the magnetic field would have changed because the magnetic north would contribute to both components, with this contribution to each depending on the angle deviated from true north, too. Imagine you had two identical magnets. What if you redid the experiment, but instead used a single magnet, you used the two identical magnets stuck together into N? How would you expect your measurements to differ? Answer. The magnitude of the magnetic field would increase due to the combined magnetic field of both magnets. Due to superposition, the new magnitude would be almost double, with slight deviation due to different R vectors. And that wraps it up for lag 2.